Now, hi everybody, and hi everybody, <clears throat> and welcome to TWF two hundred five live. And today on on TWF two hundred five live, we have four here. So, Stephen Richards. You want to go around censoring everybody and everything. Seeking wrong and bad and evil with everyone and everything. Apparently you had Marcus, you got Marcus Titus doing all your dirty work for you now. And you're starting up this group. You claimed that you were named censorer by owner Zena and chief executive officer Hunter Hearst Helmsley. But I really don't believe that. I think that's untrue, and I think you're being untrue about it. Well, believe what you want to believe for. But I am the censorer of the Toy Wrestling Federation. And you might ask... And regardless of what your win, thought, or take on me is, I'm here to tell you that I am. And apparently, you're apparently you decided to put yourself on the list. Well, apparently, this list included John Cena, Autolycus, Becky Lynch, Oscar, and apparently now you for some reason for. For some point, for want to be on that list. Now, and I'm here to tell you that no way, shape, or form are you going to make, no way, shape, or form are you going to think you're not going to be sent. Yeah. See, I know how you act like, and I know how you uh, like to treat people. I know how you like to treat others. Like to treat men and women. So I got somebody else that's going to help me treat you the way you want to be treated. Wait a minute. It's Wonder Woman's Diana Prince. Now you want to also be on that list. And as censor, I'm going to tell you, you're not a censorer, Stephen Richards. Don't lie to me. You're not. Four knows exactly you're not a censorer. You claim that Xenon Hunters Hamsley named you that, but that's what you're claiming. Since the truth of the matter is, we don't even know if they did it. You think so? Well, I'm here on 205 Live alongside with Renee Young and Corey Graves. Well, Renee Young said, yeah, is he a censor or not? No, nah, probably isn't Corey Graves. He's just claiming he has one. Well, regard well, regardless of all that, I got someone who's going to help me. Uh-oh, it's Marcus Titus again. The reject from games again, Corey Graves says. Well, Renee Young said, I wouldn't say it was a reject from... Whoa! He's trying to come in now. And Wonder Woman got him. Wonder Woman punch! And now Four got his hammer up. And down. Stephen Richards, apparent, uh, Stephen Richards apparently tried apparently tried to have uh, Marcus Tyus attack Wonder Woman in Four, I guess. And they, out, they outsmarted him. But I just got word now that by order, by by word of General Manager Sailor Moon, that Stephen Richards and Marcus Titus are going to be teaming up. So now we got ourselves a tag team match going now. And now we got the referee in the ring now. now who's going to go for it? This is the first time that Wonder Woman and Four have, have ever been teamed up before. 
Granted, they are members of the United Alliance of Good, but they belong to two different branches. Four belongs to the Avengers branch of the United Alliance of Good, or one of them belongs to the Justice League of America branch of the United Alliance of Good. Oh, and Ford just took down, uh, just took down Marcus Titus with his hammer. But this is only one time I'm actually happy, Corey. One time I'm actually happy, Corey Graves says, that he actually does get that hammer. But for once, Renee Young said, I couldn't, I could be, I would say I am with you with that one. Marcus Titus right now, oh, just took down four. And then body slammed him. Now I just tagged in Stephen Richards, who claims that Xena, the owner, and that Hunter Hearst Helmsley, the chief executive officer, named him a censorer. But we have known, found no proof to make that true, though. A Stephen Kick and the 14 time WWE hardcore champion. Stephen Richards apparently wants to go for another Stephen Kick and taking down four again. Now he just tags in Marcus Titus again. Yeah, I can't imagine that guy actually being a 14-time WWE Hardcore Champion. You know, that can't be the same man. Yeah, that was the same man who was, uh, that was the same man who was part of Blue Rail Order, who was a part of the Right to Censor, part of the Alliance. You know. The man who claimed that he was the general manager of Sunday Night Heat, but and now we got Wonder Woman in the ring now. We got a Wonder Woman punch on Marcus Titus. You can tell Renee Young said how she wrestles and fights like uh, Roman Reigns. Oh, and that's the spear. It's over here. You know, you know, that's over here. The referee's going to go down for the win here. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winners, Wonder Woman and four. Wonder Woman and four defeat Stephen Richards, beat Stephen Richards and Marcus Titus here on 205 Live. And I don't think they're happy. No, they're not. But I'm happy they lost. And now, Renee Young, I guess you're going to interview either the winners or the losers. Well, I guess it depends. Stephen Richards, it looks like your your goal to to your goal to censor four and Wonder Woman didn't work. Renee Young, it's very simple. Not all goals go according to plan, but I assure you, this goal will go to plan. I will eventually seek wrong, and seek evil, and seek bad. When it comes to four and Wonder Woman, they will pay. And you, Marcus Titus, I consider myself a member of Right to Censor. And trust me, there will be more of us. The Right to Censor will grow like it grew in WWE and like it grew in the TWF. It will grow again. Well, oh. well, it looks like that is all the time we have here. Well, I hope for everybody, I hope for everybody's sake, that doesn't happen, Corey Gray says. Me either, Renee Young said. I sure hope that they don't grow again. And Corey, Renee, I sure hope they don't grow either. Well, but the only time would tell. That's all the time we have here. Hope you like 205 Live, and we'll see you tomorrow for Monday Night Raw.